it's finally time to make the Tomo water, so let's get to the workshop. <coughs> so it turns out we got sick. Not sure how or by what. I mean, we barely leave the house. And don't get me wrong, all things considered, we're in good shape. But the thing is, now we can't really leave the apartment for a long time. So we watched some Netflix, had a nap, read some books, played some games, and even downloaded TikTok as a joke. Yeah, I'm disappointed in me too. So now we're here, stuck in our apartment, probably like a lot of the rest of the world. And we don't have our tools, but we still want to make something. Okay, so we've been sitting here ordering a bunch of stuff. We think we have an idea for what we can make here in our apartment. Now we just have to wait for all the stuff to arrive right at our doorstep. We finally got our packets. And just to clarify, Yep. Just to clarify, we are now in our apartment where we usually work is in my father's basement and we don't want to go there while we are showing symptoms of something. We don't know what it is, but nothing serious. Better say than sorry. So now we're gonna open all these packages. It's like Christmas. <laughs> or oh. tape, you need to. Yep. yep. I know how to open packages. Okay. Not my first packet. Oh, right, epoxy stuff. Yeah, so, that's yeah. for later. So what is this? No, I don't know. I don't remember. All oh, right, right, right. Okay. So we got some black clay and some clay shaping tools. Silver and gold pearl. Some more pearl Ooh. stuff. Some uh, porcelain glossy coating thing. Okay, cool. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to take these wine glasses and turn them into goblets. And the first step is, of course, modeling. Before we continue, I just want to thank today's sponsor who just helps keep the channel going during this time and that is World of Warships. World of Warships is a free-to-play PC game set in the early 20th century. In short, it's a large-scale naval action MMO where you fight epic sea battles against other players. So you have to use different tactics to win like ambushing, flanking, open confrontations or head-on assaults. And soon they will even have submarines which is pretty darn cool and it just adds a whole new level to the game. So yeah, check out the game by clicking the link below, it helps us out. And if you're a new player, make sure to enter the code BOOM to get some free cash and free warships to get started. I ripped my pants. <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> and back to the project. Yeah, so we just got these out of the oven. Well, we did yesterday. But... Yep, yesterday. Yep. Anyway, we cooked these in the oven for, I think, 25 minutes at 110 degrees Celsius. It's completely hardened. And the weird thing about this polymer clay is that it's kind of flexible. Like... It seems very durable, but I guess the thinner pieces are a bit flexible. But I think this is going to be real nice, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, me too. I'm looking forward to painting this. And I have no idea how to paint this. So I think you'll have to teach me some techniques. Okay, so I think we just find the paint find the paint and I have my little paint tower <laughs> <laughs> so the paint we're gonna use is acrylic paint and I think what we're gonna mainly use is metallic paints I was on Pinterest and I saw someone made something similar but with a metallic purple mm. color and I really want to do that so if that's possible then that would be cool uh, well I don't have any like metallic purple paint but I think what we can do is use purple as a base mm -hmm. and then we can brush on some silver okay. paint to get that metallic effect and maybe we can even like mix some so, silver yeah. in with the purple for mine it would fit better with some warm tones so I'm thinking kind of like copper gold maybe I think these are gonna be quite experimental we have some more so we're gonna make more later will they withstand water and can we wash them or what well I was thinking to use uh, like porcelain coating so apparently this should be safe for dishwashers I don't know about the clay itself though and how well it sticks to the glass in the dishwasher I don't think we're gonna take that chance but I think it should be just fine for hand washing you can try with yours and then see if it works <laughs>
So our first set of goblets are currently drying and now we're gonna start making some more. Yes! We thought of making some more like traditional fantasy goblets uh, by using some of these acrylic stones and make them a little bit more interesting. Yep. So I'm probably gonna make this one. I yeah. think we'll have to put the gems in after we've cooked them in the oven so that because these are acrylic. Yeah. So they don't melt. I think we can just like push them on and make a spot for them on the design. Uh, peel them off before we put them in the oven and then glue it afterwards. That sounds very smart. Um, yeah, we have more clay. Did we have any leftovers yeah, from the last? Yeah, we have uh, Ooh, lots of leftovers. We have lots of clay. That means we can potentially make even more. Yes. <laughs> okay, so let's go. I'm gonna grab my clay. Yep. Yeah. Are you picking all the best jams? No. I based my whole design on this. <laughs> I'm not really scared of ruining our wine glasses because we don't drink wine anyway. <laughs> Milk and cookies. We're so lame. I know. <laughs> okay, so I guess it's gonna take a while. Maybe we could just put on a time lapse and get back. What we ended up doing was putting these in the oven so we didn't destroy the actual textures and the designs we have made so far. I mean, that is, I guess, one of the coolest things about polymer clay, that you can cook them as many times as you want without destroying the clay. So let's finish these up, then we can paint them. Let's work! <laughs> We finished painting the two new glasses and now they have to dry. Meanwhile, we decided to do a washing test on our first two glasses. Whoa, what a dirty glass. You don't have to wash it. <laughs> I was worried the clay would fall off, but his glass seemed seems to be fine. fine. Seems fine, yes. Your turn. <laughs> but my glass was another story. No! A leaf has fallen. <laughs> no. It's completely off. Maybe I can just like rinse it and use epoxy glue to glue it back on. So I just glued my glass and uh, it seems to be sticking. It seems to work. So epoxy glue. Mm. There are some lessons that we've learned while doing this that we thought we could share with you. Maybe you'll save some time. Maybe. So if you don't want to use glue like Martina had to do, then you can do like me and make designs that doesn't have a lot of intricate details. Once you have these tiny floppy things that can fall off the glass, you might have to glue them to the glass, which yeah. isn't really a problem either. But if you don't want to do that, then you should stick with designs that are a bit larger. Next, I want to recommend using some parchment paper to protect your work surface. The clay doesn't really stick to your fingers, but it sticks to surfaces. I would also really recommend getting some very cheap modeling tools. We use this wooden modeling tools and they help you not get fingerprints all over your design. When you dry brush your fingerprints, they are gonna look very visible. Cheap modeling tools, recommend. Yeah. And what really surprised me was how little paint you actually need to have on your brush. So when you apply the paint, you have to wipe off all of the paint. It's not supposed to make any stains on any paper or whatever. And then when you start brushing your piece, it will really show as a metallic effect. And that just helps it not being flat and highlights the shadows of the metal. That's a good tip because I used way too much paint on this first design here. It's pretty easy. Yep, it's pretty easy. Yeah. And it's very fun. It's very fun. If you get any like paint residue onto 
the glass itself, I found it very easy to just use like a cotton swab with some water and just pick it off really because you can get into all the little nooks and crannies and, and remove it. So this is a weird time and it's a time for staying inside and being creative and maybe we gave you some inspiration for things you can do at home. If you want to do this project it is very simple, very fun and I'm sure everybody can manage to create something cool with it. Definitely. Thank you for watching this video and thanks to World of Warships for sponsoring us. Remember, you can download the game by clicking the link down below and if you're a new player, enter the code BOOM to get some free stuff. Yeah, thank you for watching and take care everyone and we'll see you in two weeks when we are back with another project, hopefully. Yeah, we yeah. will. Yeah, we will. Yeah. Okay, bye! Bye! <laughs>